All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. My face is tired. My face is tired. You. Let's hope they've had better luck. Ew! As of this recording, Mass Effect Andromeda was released to the public today, and it's been getting quite a lot of criticism, and it's not hard to see why, but with all that aside, the universal consensus of the game adds up to it being a disappointment. And I'd hate to be the one to say this, but I saw this coming. Now, to be perfectly frank, my anticipation for this game was fucking zero. Like, you cannot get any lower than that. Like, how can you be negatively hyped for something? Well, I, I figured you could be negatively hyped for something, but I'm getting off track here. The point is, the game did not interest me at all. And this is coming from someone who played the original trilogy multiple times. Well, with the exception of three, but um, I'll be getting to that later. Yeah, the game's getting criticism for its bland graphics and questionable facial animations, but that's only talking about the final product. People have seemed to have forgotten about, or at least from my perspective, people have maybe going on, maybe going on and on and on about boycotting the other shit that, that Mass Effect Andromeda has done. But lest you forget, when it was first announced, we didn't get any gameplay for, what, maybe one, two years? I think that it now's as good a time as any that this is based purely on a tangent, this is unscripted, and this is purely on speculation, and I could be factually wrong, and if I am factually wrong, feel free to correct me down in the comment section below, in whatever vitriol that you please. But getting back to the subject at hand, we didn't see any gameplay until maybe last year? And even then, with what I saw, it... I just wasn't... It, it just... The, the, I, like, it was flatlined from all the way to like, it was a stillbirth. The game was a, the game was a stillbirth creation. Now, if I stop fucking rambling and actually get onto the point of the video that I'm trying to make is, I've thought long and hard about it. And by long and hard, I mean like two or three days ago when this shit started popping up online. But, I've come to the epiphany that, in my personal opinion, I think Bioware is cosmically overrated. Now, to be fair, I am talking about the Bioware of today. I don't know anything about the company in its early days. I've never played Baldur's Gate, and I've never played the Forgotten Realms, if they've made that game, if I'm not mistaken. I probably am. Someone will correct me on that. But Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic did not like that game at all. Like, I thought the graphics were ugly, the animations were stiff, the menu navigation and the combat, I, I could not get into at all. Story be damned, I tried playing that game maybe three times and I could not get past, like, the first city. And I know that may sound blasphemous to a lot of you, but I just did not like that game. And mainly because the number one reason is because of its shitty gameplay. And that is something that Bioware has always struggled with, at least in my experience. Because they want to come up with a story first, with a rich lore and a diverse cast of characters, and some of them are well written, some of them aren't, but they're diverse and they put a lot of effort into that shit, by the way. And then they forget to make a fucking video game because they're a video game company. Think about it for a second. If you played the original Mass Effect, what would you say is the game's biggest shortcoming? I'm just going to go ahead and assume that you're going to say gameplay, especially with the Mako segment. I mean, as cool as the game's look and environment and story was, it was, it was kind of a drag to get through, especially in my experience. And I played through the game three goddamn times. And then Dragon Age Origins came out, which I'd say it's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's one of the best games ever made, like some people want to make it out to be, but... Oh well, again, 
I thought the gameplay was the weakest aspect of it. But then again, I played it on console, and if I played it on PC, I may have had a better experience with it because the interface is optimized for PC. But then again, my computer is a fucking dinosaur. So I couldn't have been able to play it if I wanted to. And then Mass Effect 2 and 3 came out, which made a colossal shift in gameplay. It became more like a fucking video game. I mean, as primitive and archaic as the cover, cover and shoot system turned out to be, at least those two games made the biggest effort to be a fucking video game. Now, some people like stories in video games, some people like to be immersed in the environment, but to me, the biggest element, the biggest part of a game is the fucking gameplay. You have to be able to fucking play it and have a good time. And I just can't in, I really just can't get in to a game that has really boring or subpar gameplay, even if the story is amazing. There could be games that have a terrible story, and there are games with terrible stories, but with great gameplay. Kingdom Hearts, <coughs> Fire Emblem Fates, and I would enjoy myself with them. I would willingly go through with those games because the gameplay is so good. But given from what I've seen from the reviews of Mass Effect Andromeda from both review sites and fans alike, it seems to be more of the same old song and dance. It has a decent story, a diverse cast of wisecracking characters, but boring, tedious gameplay. And that's not even talking about the glitches and facial animation fuck-ups that seems to be the forefront of the criticism, which may be undeserved. That's not, that, in terms of critiquing games, those wouldn't be the biggest, the biggest turnoffs for me. I mean, every game ever has glitches. Breath of the Wild, which I think is one of the best games ever made, one of my favorite games ever, yeah, there are a lot of glitches and frame rate issues. It's not perfect, but it's still my favorite, but Mass Effect Andromeda, again, going full circle, which I've repeated 800 billion goddamn times, just does not seem interesting, and it just doesn't feel like a good game to play. If you've made it this far in the video, I applaud your patience, but what can we learn from all this? I'd say that we should, that whenever we review or criticize something, I'd say do your best to look at the core element first. I mean, if weird facial animations and plastic graphics is your turn off, fine. And if you like Mass Effect Andromeda, if you bought the game and you're having a great time with it, I applaud you. More power to you, but I'm not going to play it. I'm not even going to buy it whenever it's in the bargain bin for $15 at Walmart. It just with Mass Effect 3 and its ending, I forgot to talk about this, but with the way Mass Effect 3 ended, and despite how bad it was, it had a sense of finality. Meaning, it closed the book on everything. And then EA or Bioware, or maybe even a combination of both, decided, hey, we want more money, let's make another Mass Effect game. And sometimes, of the product of that idea come, uh, turns out good. I mean, video games are a business. They do this to make money, and they do have passionate artists behind it. But in the case of Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'm sorry for going on and on and on and on and on and on, and on I, I just see this as a cash grab. And given the controversy, especially with the racist developer behind it, who I think is now out of the company, I think either he left or got fired or... I don't know. Again, correct me in the comment section below. At that moment, that was when I decided not to buy it. Ever. I mean, maybe I'll rent it just to see what I'll... No, I'm not even... I'm, I don't think I'll even fucking play it. Okay, I'll do it. I'm PM Rants, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I feel dead inside. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I need to give an especially big thank you to Sean Campbell, Sam Peters, Michael Perry Jr., Kodos Sinclair, Connor Pierce, William Fletcher,
Pestar24, Will Stonehouse, Nicholas Blackman, Q Player, Jackson Smith, Mitch Jackson, Jack Gore, Ethan Parker, Bon Lanyez, Mario Mariquin, Rodolfo De Lara, you festering Krogan testicle, Ramona Viking Hansen, Cynical Carlos, and Michael Groot. Now, it's time to address the elephant in the room, the, the pledge reviews. I've said before that that one of the that one of the series reviews is actually two of them, Avatar and The Legend of Korra. I'm almost done with both of them. It took a while, as you can clearly see. In the game review, that's also an epic JRPG that took almost just as long, and I feel like I'm getting in the home stretch of it. So they will be done soon. I promise. I've been working very hard on them. Until then, hopefully this supplemental video will Sate your curiosity if there are any of you who are curious about what I think about the Mass Effect series and Bioware as a whole, but who knows. Anyway, have a good day everyone. Thank you.